Mr. Peters. No. No. Shortly after the vote failed, President Trump tweeted, three Republicans and 48 Democrats let the American people down. As I said from the beginning, let Obamacare implode, then deal, watch. Senator McCain later issued a statement saying in part, while the amendment would have repealed some of Obamacare's most burdensome regulations, it offered no replacement to actually reform our health care system and deliver affordable, quality health care to our citizens. The speaker's statement that the House would be willing to go to conference does not ease my concern that this shell of a bill could be taken up and passed at any time. I've stated time and time again that one of the major failures of Obamacare is that it was rammed through Congress by Democrats on a strict party line basis without a single Republican vote. We should not make the mistakes of the past that have led to Obamacare's collapse. We must do the hard work our citizens expect and deserve. Casey Hunt, wow, what a scene on Capitol Hill. What a failure for President Trump. It was an incredibly dramatic night, Mika, and mm. Senator McCain, the center of it all, he and Mike Pence huddling uh, on the Senate floor, huddling in the cloakroom. Pence was there to cast that deciding vote, and ultimately McCain, when he walked out, told reporters that he did it because he thought it was the right thing to do. And he had been talking with Chuck Schumer as well throughout the night, uh, we were reporting, and it was really the surprise linchpin. I mean, he came back uh, to a few days ago after the president said, well, he's a crusty voice in Washington, but we need his vote. And McCain gave him that vote to start this debate. Uh, and then he took a lot of heat for it. People called him hypocritical. They said, oh, okay, John McCain, you talk a big game. He gave that very emotional floor speech, uh, but you're not willing to follow through. And last night he followed through. 